Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my hero build series. I am Silfin. In today's video, we are taking a look at Howitzer. Uh, I haven't released a video in the past couple days. I am sorry. Moving into the city here, just kind of trying to mix up the life a little bit and uh, had a little delay. So we are taking a look at a build that I call Rambo Rocket. So ladies and gentlemen, we have done this build before, but I did tweak it. We had too much cooldown reduction in the previous, not enough damage, so we got more damage, and we just tweaked it. Made sure that we have some uh, penetration, made sure that it was just kind of a little bit more focused on dealing damage and having some survivability with some Sage's Ward, Staff the Adamant for health, etc, etc. We are indeed mid lane, and I feel happy with getting a health, a mana, and a cast token here right to start it off. Cast token in the fifth slot because we have planned everything out. Now, ladies and gentlemen, of course, like usual, please uh, consider supporting the channel by going over to my Amazon wish list if you'd like to support that way, or going over to my uh, Patreon account to become a monthly su supporter in that regard. So, ladies and gentlemen, right off the bat, if you haven't played Howitzer before, he's a freaking uh, raccoon on a on a uh, machine. And he is a really, he's a finesse hero for sure. He definitely requires finesse to play because he his main way of staying alive is a very hard ability to use. And that is landmine. That is the very first ability we're going to get. It's what it does is you place a mine on the ground and... Ooh, ah, can't, can't, couldn't get that one. Um, you place a mine on the ground, deal some damage, but it knocks away both yourself and an enemy that um, happens to be, you know, in the area, uh, in its area of effect. So you have to make sure that you can, that you can put the mine in between yourself and, and the enemy and then actually activate it you, you can reactivate it earlier to make sure that it that it hits kind of in between you and you and your your enemy so it's hard it's it's definitely a finesse ability and it's really hard to use hopefully i can showcase that to you today uh the second ability we got was another defensive ability slow grenades it uh you shoot out three grenades in kind of an arc in front of you both um, upwards and side to side um, and then they kind of project out. Uh, what they do is they kind of sit there when until an enemy kind of comes by and then they kind of pop out of the ground and explode slowing the enemy and of course dealing a little bit of damage. Now what you can do there's a very interesting part of the ability and that is that you can either shoot it up into the air so that the the ability so that those those grenades actually go higher in, into the air and thus travel farther, or or they or you can actually put them like straight into the ground and then that makes all three of them kind of go into one spot. So if you have an enemy and you know that they're going to be you know like following you or you know that you can land all three of those grenades on them, that it is possible for you to. Uh, you know, use it in that fashion. Now, the next ability we're going for is the R2000 uh, missile that I upgraded once, and you, you saw that I upgraded twice. Um, it's our long-range poke ability that shoots, you just shoot a freaking rocket. You shoot a freaking missile, and that's kind of the main ability that we're going to use here to deal some damage. Uh, make sure that the enemy knows who they're dealing with. I'm going to do that, make sure I get that last hit, maybe apply some damage to the Gideon. But you can see how far you can shoot it. 12, 2,500 unit range, absolutely huge. I'm trying to be careful here because the uh, enemy jungler could be on the map here. And I'm just, I'm not too comfortable with how I'm currently set up here as a first video at my, at my uh, parents' place. So I'm kind of, it's weird. Everything's in a different position, and I'm trying to get used to it. So that's pretty much Howitzer. He is definitely a really... He's a finesse player. Solo Nazgul, I believe, um, is Howitzer main, or he plays really good, if that's a, per, if that's a person I'm thinking of. Um, 
I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's something like that. He, um... He plays a monster, monster, monster howitzer. Um, boy, he can, like, survive through anything because howitzer actually has a surprising amount of sustainability just with his abilities. You can use your E to knock the enemies away. You can use your ultimate, which we just got and I didn't explain. Uh, you, you launch into the air here uh, and you... I'm going to actually do all of this here. Uh, just to make sure that I can push these guys out so I can go back. Uh, you launch vertically in the, in, into the air, fair, a fair distance into the air. You go pretty darn high. And then you shoot down a whole bunch of missiles that deals damage over time. But the last missile, after 4.2 seconds, is the one that deals all of the damage. So uh, you, have to make, you have to be careful here. I'm actually going to use it. I'm going to have to be careful here. Oh, low mana, what am I doing? Shoot. Um, so there is a thing. So there is something about um, the Howitzer and his ultimate that you saw there. Um, is after after you, after you're done the ultimate, you kind of launch vertically, um, or sorry, horizontally in any direction that, um, that, that you want. So you can use it as an escape tool. So the, the first card here, Sage's Ward, that's a whole bunch of minor casts and a lesser mana to make sure that we stay alive here, have a little bit of extra health and uh, obviously damage to be functional in this early game. So as we were saying, his ultimate has an escape mechanic built into it. The once you are done, you know, shooting all your missiles as when you're up high, up high into the air, um, you do kind of shoot from side to side and you can use that actually to to escape as you saw there to get out of that Gideon's ultimate um, I did I, I did use that to to escape uh, so you have the knockback with your E you have your slow with your um, with your grenades and you have that escape with your ultimate it's very 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 strong I want to get these last hits that's why I knocked these guys out of the, out of the way here uh, so He's actually, if if you play him right, that is the key. If you play him right, you can actually do a fair amount. I'm going to make sure I do that. I get a nice poke damage. Look at that, 131. Not too, too much, but here in this early game, um, can't really expect too much. I'm going to keep going with my R2000 missiles here just because I want to use that here uh, in this early game to get quite a bit of damage off on that Gideon and on these and on these minion waves, of course. So I'm going to do this one right here, get that last hit, and just kind of keep going. So combinations of his abilities, obviously you can use your, your, your landmine to knock enemies into favorable positions. You can use the landmine to knock them towards you so that you can land your so that you can land your Q nicely. Oh, uh, well, I'm going to actually do something here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to knock him forward here. There we go. You can see there, if that Kwong had stuck around, uh, we would have definitely had a nice opportunity there, but he didn't. So there's me using an offensive landmine, um, you know, trying to knock him into a favorable position, but the Kwong didn't quite line it up. So some, something like that, um, besides the fact that the Gideon has his teleport, uh, he was low on, on mana though, I was maybe if that Kwong was going in, uh, going to use my landmine like we did to hit him close to me and then use my make it rain, my right ability. Uh, do you really want to do that Gideon? See, oh there you go, you can see that uh, once, the, once they, you know, kind of I'm going to knock these guys away, make sure that I can get these last hits nice and easy. There you go, guys. You can start to see a little bit happen here. Um, in this early game, you can start to see the potential of Howitzer. He is a bit mana, mana hungry. I am using my abilities uh, quite a bit, but this Gideon is doing a good job of pushing me back. Right now, let's go with our slow grenades. It does double its damage here from level 1 to 2, so we, we should probably do that for sure.
Oh, sorry guys, I forgot it was recording. Uh, what we were doing there was um, using our ultimate so that we can clear that lane and get out of there um, so that we can, you know, go back uh, to base and get our next card. That The next card here is the Wellspring Staff with uh, some basic mana and minor casts so that we have 150 mana. As you can see, we kind of ran out of mana there. Uh, we want that mana. Casters have issues with mana in the early game. We need that foundation. We got some health, some mana, some damage. We are set here to go to go to go for our mid game, which starts to get our cooldown reduction and our mana regen. Here's a Gideon not being too smart. He just committed suicide. He wanted, he was greedy. Thought he could get me after the, um, after the, uh, Kuang did his whole combination on me. Uh, used his, used his sword, used both of his abilities, and he's, he only took me to half health. That is why we got that health early in the game, uh, because we need to stay alive. We need to stay alive, need to get the, this this card power here. I'm going to put actually an aggressive... Ooh, there's a Kuang. Uh, ooh, can we do something here? Maybe this Kuang, is he going to notice? Our friendly Kuang, is he going to notice that I have a position on him? No. So that's okay. We're doing actually a really good job here with our card power. Uh, 18 over the enemy team's 15. Wow. So we're doing a good job here. Um, Gideon, not, not doing the greatest on his part, but that is okay, I think. That's okay. That's how that happens. What? Uh, that minion's not attacking at all. That was quite interesting. So, as you can see, hopefully if I can get some good synergy with my abilities, you can see some pretty monster plays here from Howitzer. He's he's hard. He's he's hard. I haven't had the best success with him. Um, sometimes sometimes I, you know, I, I happen to, to, to do a good job, but um, it's just, it's really hit and miss. I find it's really, really hit and miss with howitzer uh when you push your lane up don't be afraid to you know kind of go around doing some some of these harvesters maybe getting uh the, the white camp here on the or prime side it is really close and uh, now that we have some damage we should be able to kill it nice and quick here's a gideon not sure exactly what he wants to do here but um i dodged that saw that coming from a mile away ah oh, we're missing everything and of course, I fall down. So that not the best. Uh, he definitely needs to hit his abilities. The gadget, or the Gideon there got the drop on me, and uh, not the best. So 2.4 health regen. It'll take a while to regen this health, but we can just simply play it safe here in our lane and get that. Sorry for the light shining right above my head. Um, of course, you probably didn't even notice that until I said it. Uh, looks like one of the lights here. Um, that I have kind of blocked off, showed up. So he, there's our our gray stone. His ultimate is up, so I need to keep that into consideration here. I'm going to keep going for my R2000 missiles. Uh, he, oh boy, ah, shoot, shoot, I'm hitting buttons I didn't mean to. I didn't hit buttons that I didn't mean to. Ooh, if you're greedy, Gideon, you know what happened last time. You know what happened last time. So now I need to be careful here. Um... As I'm just, I'm letting this Gideon here do some funny business. It's not what I want. Um, I can, though, start using my abilities a little bit more here. I do have one mana potion here ready. And maybe I could go and help that Gideon, but I don't want to get caught in his ultimate. And a rotating Narbash here that can certainly mess me up with a nice stun or two. So, hello! I know you're, you're, you're greedy. I know you want me. Ooh, very nice job in the right lane. Yeah, so guys, you have to be kind of careful here. I'm going to say be right back. Um, actually, you know what? Before you go back, though, you should try to use your... Yes, come closer, come closer. There we go. Oh, shit. Let's do this here. Let's use our... This. We're going to use this here. Um, but yeah, not not the best. Uh, I wanted to use that mine there to knock the Gideon a little bit closer. So that our ultimate could actually do something. Now this Gideon's here. We are the... Yeah, uh, Decker's here. I will go back and spend six card power. The next card is our Wellspring, or sorry, our Burn Blood Powder. It's a fantastic ability here. Um, and you know what? I kind of... Let's see. We're going to get some cast. And you know what? Yeah, so right now we're going to uh, get rid of our 
health and stuff so we can fully complete this. Burn blood powder. A whole bunch of damage, which is shit. That's not what we wanted. We wanted this burn blood powder. Oh, damn it. All right, guys. So I made a boo-boo. Uh, we wanted the one with... Um, we wanted the one with Chrono. Should have... I, I should have looked at their... <laughs> So, we get the one with Chrono first, then we get the Slayer's Reactor, um, and then we get the Burn Blood Powder. So, um, oh, that's okay. Um, we're just going to switch this around. So, that's, that's the, the uh, hopefully that doesn't burn, uh, hopefully that doesn't bite us in the butt here too, too much. Alright, let's see what this Kwong and I can do. I don't think very much, though, as the enemy Kwong here is... Gonna try to get me? No, didn't quite. Didn't quite. Okay, so I thought there was gonna be an opportunity there. The Kwong and uh, Gideon were positioning to push our lane pretty hard, but it uh, didn't look like it turned into anything here. So we're doing we're doing well again here in in this. Let's do this. Let's hit him. Yeah, we did. As we uh, that that missile is hard to use. Um, it, it really is. You really have to try pretty hard, um, as it's kind of tricky. It really is quite, quite tricky. Um, I'm finding, guys, that that stun, that knockback on the, on the landmine is actually really, really useful. It's really, really useful. It gives you a nice chance to set up your missile, because you pretty much know exactly where they're going to land, which means that you can, you can kind of, um... You know, just kind of look ahead at where exactly, at where exactly they're gonna land, so you can shoot your missile. You get a nice, uh, nice kind of burst of hit there. So, oh boy, uh, looks like we're gonna get uh, tower for tower as they get the right tower. So, uh, looks like we got the better part of this deal though, as we got two. Oh boy, nobody is left lane though, so I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna. I'm going to rotate right as this is gonna hopefully turn into something. Now I'm gonna think about, ladies and gentlemen, using my landmine here to knock the. Oh boy! I'm gonna actually use my ultimate here right away. I'm gonna do this followed by my ultimate here. Let's hit. Ah shit! I I use that wrong. And there is. Uh, you can see the whole bunch of damage. But I didn't, I didn't use my landmine properly. That is the key, ladies and gentlemen. You need to use your landmine properly, or else it, you just, you just lose so much of the potential of how it's. I could have, I could have used that to. Right, I, I totally could have used that. The, the landmine to make sure that he stayed in my ultimate, got some more damage. Maybe he, couldn't, he didn't get away, etc., etc. There is so much potential there, but you just really have to land it. You really, really have to land it. Um, an idea there would have been to use my set my landmine because there is five second delay. You ha set that, use my missile. You then used my ultimate, and then kind of done some things there. So we're actually going to because we don't have that cooldown yet. We don't necessarily need that that resource um, that cooldown reduction. So we're going to go into the bloodburn powder here in the sixth slot. Uh, that's where it's going to lie. A whole bunch of cooldown reduction. There we go. 20%. Uh, we're going to get a little bit more here. We are, we're at 25 right now. And we're going to go get that blue buff, but the Kwong stole it. Damn. Alright, we're coming in for a gank, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we can do. Uh, I'm going to hit him this way. Let's use this. I'm going to use my ultimate now. Let's see if we can do something here. There we go, there's a whole bunch of damage, but, oh, now we have to be careful here. Let's use this. Okay, so that didn't really turn to much. Um, <laughs> I was thinking that Decker and, uh, yeah. All right, so we maybe used our abilities here a little early. I'm gonna say on my way mid. Uh, the Decker was not there to use her containment fence, which works so nicely with, um, with Howitzer. Damn it. Hey, okay. Uh, that's a random ultimate, but uh, I think that was just a misclick. 
Alright, so, uh, I was ho hoping that uh, Decker would use her ultimate there to secure the kill, but maybe it was not off cooldown and not available to us. So, we are going to have to wait for 9 card power deer to go back and get um, a fully upgraded Solaris Reactor, which is our next card. Uh, so, maybe we can maybe dip into the right lane here in a bit, get the blue camp, which is going to really, really help with this cooldown reduction, which we are seriously lacking. Oh, boy. Not much I can, yeah, uh, I can't even, can't even aim and not much we can do there. I could have maybe anticipated that uh, gank a little bit more. Again, used my E to knock him a little bit closer to us, but now I need some help. Holy smokes. Um, so let's start cleaning this lane a little faster because uh, they're going to have a nice group of minions here pushing into this tower and absorbing these tower hits. Should maybe... Ooh, careful right lane. Yeah. Alright, guys, so, so far the build, uh, I mean, besides getting the wrong card, um, has actually worked. Now that we have this uh, cooldown reduction, though, you can see that we are running out of mana, which um, is a serious issue, uh, since, you know, if we don't use our abilities, we're pretty much useless. Uh, because, you know, we have that knockback on our E, we have the, the, the long-range poke... If we don't have it, then, you know, we're kind of useless, so... Uh, I don't really want to get too far ahead, as they will be able to stun lock me to all hell with the Narbash, and the Kwong will at least keep me in my place. Well, we simply got really outplayed there. The, uh... We really need this health. Gideon took me down with a few little bursts and yeah didn't really work out so we're gonna get the staff of the adamant and i want to maybe get a little bit more of this health so what i'm going to do here is um just kind of switch the damage that's in here for some health just because i want it um i really really want that uh it's good it's definitely gonna be interesting so the next card here that this meltdown does replace is our wellspring staff which because we have that um that that cool that mana regen i'm going to get that so that we can get another greater health here and uh have this and the sage's ward to upgrade uh later i want this health here on the sage's ward i want that little bit of pen and i want that health so we're kind of moving everything around getting that health now that we really need it all right, we had a kind of a combination here. The Decker definitely didn't land her her, her, her fence on anything, but uh, we did actually secure the kill on a Narbash with a very great landmine to hit him out of the way. So now I'm going to have a fun here with these guys as, you know, they are very nicely kind of stuck around here forced to there we go i'm just going to use my abilities guys because we have that that nice uh mana regen i can use my abilities quite quite often and uh just have fun using our abilities being as annoying as possible with that landmine um and just kind of making sure that we can secure these kills so we have a fair amount of card power we have some wards here to protect us um but we need to there we go there's 240 here's 256 um i do have my ultimate once again let's use this here let's use this to slow down oh no i didn't maybe want to use that um there we go look at that 547 um the damage there as the last missile rains down um crazy there we go. That cooldown reduction. Without that cooldown reduction, I would not have been able to use that for sure. Because um, we had just used it there in, in that mid lane with that Decker. So um, we wouldn't have been able to use it for sure. So yeah, there you go. So defend mid lane. We're going to have to see if they do that, in fact. So we're going to get a... Oh no, undo. What did I just do? Oh my god, I just... Oh my god. Fucking misclicks, guys. Sorry for the language. That is absolutely horrendous. I just discarded a nine-point card by accident. Fucking just ridiculous. Wow. 
Man, the... All right, so let's get over that. Let's go into... Let's see what the enemy team has. Uh, energy barrier, 44. Nothing there, nothing there. A little bit. So we're just going to get just a touch. We're going to get focus and two major casts here. And then some damage. Wow, I can't believe that happened. Same thing with this with this communication system, guys. That there, it, I, I feel like there's just so much glitch um, with the communication system with that. I have no idea what the hell just happened there. Um, that is so unfortunate. Unbelievable. What, what a, what, what a, what a gong show with this, with this, um, with, with this build today. Um, just with the, not getting the right ones and, uh, some good plays, some good plays. Don't get me wrong, but, um, at least let's see, was that at least the one with the damage on it? Yeah, it was. So we're not going to be doing nearly as much damage as we wanted to, but at least we have the cooldown reduction. Oh, fuck. I'm so sorry, guys. Sorry for the language. All right, guys, this could be un inf unfavorable, or it could not be. Uh, fighting there in the... Let's use this defensively. Let's knock him away. Let's do this to slow him down. Let's use our ultimate to get out of here. Let's use it in a kind of a defensive position. Oh, very nice ultimate. Oh, very nicely done. Oh, very nice. That, oh, but he lines it up. Oh, shit. We're going to use this to knock him forward to secure this kill. Look at that, guys. There is that damage. Look at that. Oh, but here's this. Go, oh, this Gideon. Very nice ultimate. Fantastic ultimate, in fact. But I think we can clean it up. I think we can clean it up. Come on. Come on, Kwong. Do it. Oh, sh oh, shoot. That's the... Oh, but can this gadget protect our our Kwong? I think so. Boy. Boy, boy. Uh, there's a Sage's Ward all done. And we have no more. Unbelievable, guys. I can't believe that I did that. I can't believe that I did that. Um, unbelievable. It's that... It's that... It's that automatic... It was that automatic... Um, uh, card opening when when you return to base. I think that popped up. I used my my I, I opened I, I reopened it up with G. Um, I was clicking. I don't know. I can't believe that happened. I'm so sorry guys. All right, we're gonna try to be sneaky here and Oh Okay, well, there's that um Wow. Okay, so this Kwong is going to instantaneously delete our... No, but he's not going to, as there is the landmine using twice. Um, I wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, I wanted to make sure that he was focused by the inhibitor. I hit him into the tower, but apparently there were minions there. So, of course, reinforcements right in time. Um, fantastic. All right, so let's get this blue buff since we need that... Um, that man, that man of regen. Oh boy! And there is defeat, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty handily, we uh, after that, after that death there in the left lane, uh, trying to get that left tower. They had an easy time taking a few towers, getting the orb prime, getting the inhibitors, and there it goes. So let's take a look at the build. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, the Archmages, we need to deal damage. So that is the Prime card we want. Here in the early game, getting a Health, Mana Potion, and a Cast Token. Obviously having another Cast Token available um, for later on the build if you have one point. One point of uh, points to use. But as you, as you saw, we actually optimized this build very well. Uh, and you don't have one point um, to spend, but hey, it's there anyways. So here is the bill, ladies and gentlemen. After that health, mana, and cast token, we get the Sage's Ward for that 200 lesser health. Keeps you alive, keeps you in lane, getting that card power. We did fantastic with card power this game, so I think we can contribute that to the Sage's Ward. After that, we deal with our mana issue, which is what, which is, uh, what casters all have in the early game with this Wellspring Staff. I don't have... Um, another... Uh, I don't have an Amp Crystal. I have not gotten a, uh, a Amp Crystal. I can't believe it. It's absolutely ridiculous, but I don't have one. The Amp Crystal um, 
is just like the Wellspring Staff, but instead of two points of energy damage for the upgraded bonus, it's two points of mana. I think that one would work very well, because then we could put a whole bunch of more minor casts in here. Uh, we just go three minor casts, because that's a lot of mana. So there you go. Preferably, this would be an Amp Crystal with three minor casts. After the Wellspring Staff, we get the Burn Blood Powder. Uh, we get the one with uh, Chrono first because we have that health, we have the mana, we have the damage, we can go straight into this Chrono to make sure we can use our abilities faster. After that, because we have that cooldown, we're going to need some mana regen to help us. So there is that Solaris Reactor for that mana regen because you'll still be in lanes more or less and it just helps you stay alive longer once you... Um, you know, once you win that team fight, you don't have to go back because you have no mana. You can just kind of continue on lane with um, the mana regen kind of just chugging away. After the Solaris Reactor, we have the second Burn Blood Powder. Now that we have all that cooldown, we don't really need that much more. You can get the blue buff to even increase your uh, cooldown reduction further. And we need this, this other Burn Blood Powder because yes, it does give us a little bit more cooldown and a little bit more kinetic, which combined with the 5.5 here, that 10% actually really helps quite a bit with his basic attack, you get more damage out of that. But all that damage, 3, 2, 1 damage here, that's going to kick us our damage up so, so much because we have the mana regen so we can continue to use our abilities and the cooldown to make use our abilities faster, more often, crazy. So now that we have all of that, we need some penetration to make sure that it that it penetrates any um, damage. But at that point, as you can as you, as you saw, we needed that health. So we got our staff of the adamant, two greater healths with a major cast in there. We switched out our 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 wards. We switched our got our meltdown instead of our weak wellspring staff, so we can you know feed into this a little bit quicker. Get that get that health and damage really necessary. This is so, so necessary. I've thought of using a, a um, Elder Mage Amulet, but with the 100 you get from the Sage's Ward and the other 100, this is 3, 6, 7, 800 health. Yeah, arguably you would need a little bit more. Um, so you know what? That's exactly what we are going to do. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to Staff the Adamant, get out of there. We want a Elder Mage Amulet. For the same thing, two greater health and a greater cast, just basically uh, switching out that fully upgraded bonus for health instead of damage. So there you go, a thousand extra health. That is that, that's a good amount. I agree with that. So let's get that Elder Mage Amulet, and then you finish it off with a meltdown with two major casts and then three. Uh, focus shocks for options, right? You always get one of them. You always get one of them to make sure that you can penetrate hero's natural armor that they that they get and two there in case they happen to just have a crazy amount of uh, of armor on the enemy team get that so that um you can kind of negate their barrier there you guys go final build the meltdown for all that penetration and more damage the solaris reactor for that mana regen so you can stay in lane once you win a team fight you can continue pushing lane actually use some abilities the sages ward which sorry uh i forgot replaces this Sage's Ward and um, enables us to get uh, some some damage here. Uh, and then we get the, El the Elder Mage Amulet for that health and damage. Burn Blood Powder for a Chrono, not too, too, not too much, um, but some for, again, a little bit of damage, a little bit of Kinetic, which actually really helps. Burn Blood Powder, whole bunch of damage for that damage, cooldown, and Kinetic. There's the build, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you think of Rambo Rocket Howitzer. Please like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, share it with the community. Of course, guys, subscribe. If you found this helpful, found this useful, please subscribe so I can do it for you later. Till next time, like always, stay optimistic and positive.